So you might be in a position where you are getting this little no account found on your Google account. Now, what does this mean? Well, it essentially means that you're typing in your Google account and it's not showing up or you may think the account's deleted or Google may think your account's deleted or not found. So the very first thing I'd recommend doing, and this is the most basic thing, if you are typing in your specific Google account and your password, just make sure you're typing in the right Google account name. If you are not, then that is pretty much going to be the main reason why you're not going to be able to sign into your Google account, whether you're on an iPhone or Android just make sure you're typing it in right because if you're not, that is the reason why it's not working for you. Anytime any situation like this has ever occurred in any type of account, it's usually because they're not typing in the name right. So that is number one. Another thing on top of that though is quite potentially you're typing in the name right, but for some reason Google is having some issues on their side and sometimes there can be some times where if you're not connected to an internet connection properly, it may just have some weird connection thing where it's like thinks it's connected but not really and it's not giving you like a no connection error, it's just giving you no account found error. So what I would recommend doing is making sure you're connected to a good internet connection. So just go ahead, connect to the data connection, your Wi-Fi connection, whatever you need to do. And that might be another way to go ahead and kind of temporarily fix this problem too. Now, on top of that, you may want to go ahead and restart your device. So if it's still not working for you, just go ahead and hold down the buttons, restart your phone, and that may end up somehow fixing this issue as well. On top of that, I would just recommend double checking your name, double checking everything, making sure you're typing in everything right. And again, that might end up fixing the situation. That's probably the reason why it's not working. Finally, if none of those things are working, you can make your way over to a website like downdetector.com, like isitdown.com, that's another website I typically use. And all you wanna do is just go ahead and make sure that basically that Google and or anything related to Google isn't down. Now, sometimes I guess if Amazon down with AWS, that could also cause some issues. But Google, if Google's not like number one here or some Google product like Gmail or something isn't down, like it's not number one or number two, then you should be okay. But if for some reason Google is number one or number two, then obviously that means Google's down and you're just going to have to wait until they pretty much fix the issues. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. So